When you're speaking to your clients, your elderly clients, do they know what their options are going forwards, what's available to them? Most people know. People have no idea. They don't want to know. I think people have two broad ideas of what might work for them. One is if they still want to stay at home, they may consider some living care if, they, if their needs are really 24-hour needs rather than um, able to be supported by shorter visits or multiple visits a day. Um, but most people realise the next stage is probably going to be some form of care home. When they're asking therapists to come in, they're normally people that are trying to keep themselves as active as they can or manage their conditions as best they can. So I think then they find it quite hard to think that they can't manage anymore. So they're often not that prepared. They're frightened. It's perhaps having to face up to ultimately their own mortality. Um, they're alarmed by some of the articles one can read in the press. I also think that they're, they're very scared of the cost. They have an image of what a care home might be like. Usually it's a very negative one. And so you get people will say, I don't want to go into care. I do not want to sell my house. I'm not leaving here except in the box. And they can be very resolute. I think they just sort of think they're going to go on being at home forever. So they haven't really thought about the dreaded care options. So it's not generally something that people do have a lot of knowledge about. And they certainly don't have a go-to port of call. I think they're generically aware of it. But in terms of the range of possibilities, and how to go about selecting the right home for them. Um, typically, this is the first time people have done that exercise, so, so they're unfamiliar with that.